Hey FlossTube friends, it's Laura here from Cambridge, Ontario, Canada. I've been working on a project for the past few weeks and I wanted to get you caught up. I blame Samantha, the Huga Stitcher, for her numerous and spectacular mirabilia pieces. Well, there's also plenty of others of you out there. You know who you are. But it was Samantha that really got me thinking about my next piece as I was finishing up the Serene Village Dimensions kit. I considered buying my first Mirabilia and then I started thinking about my daughter. She's currently studying computer generated image design for video games, but she's also a digital artist hobbyist and she creates characters and scenes in the fantasy genre. And the more I thought about it, the more I wanted to try to stitch one of her designs. But how? So the next person I blame for this fixation, adventure, project, is Michelle, the giddy stitcher. I was watching her video. I tried every free cross stitch pattern converter so you don't have to. And I thought, well, I could do that. So I had a look online and decided to give Floss Cross a go. I uploaded my image and the first thing I saw was the stitch count. I had already decided on my canvas of 30 count lambswool linen that I would stitch two over two to give me a 15 count. So 200 stitches by 164 stitches divide by 15 count would mean my piece would be roughly 13 by 11, which I liked. So I clicked continue and had a good look at the proposed chart. I saw right away that there would be a lot of fixing to do. Given the size I wanted, it meant that a lot of the detail would be lost. I'd have to make it much bigger to get it back, and I didn't want to stitch her huge. This issue of scale is talked about by Jules of Stitching Jules Design in several of her videos, and Ronnie of Ronnie Rowe Designs in his video, Picture into Design Process. I realized the manual cleanup would be time consuming to fix the random colors and also to remove the background stitches. I couldn't just remove the background colors because they are also found in the design in places. Um, but the biggest benefits were that it made me notice the floss color changes in the transition areas and the shading. And most helpful was the DMC palette it suggested. So I decided to export to PDF, print the last page with the list, and then take it to Michaels to select the threads. So without a counted cross stitch pattern, then what? What if I just trace the design onto the canvas with a water soluble pen and wing it? What if I just trace the design onto the canvas with a water soluble pen and wing it? What if I just trace the design onto the canvas with a water soluble pen and wing it? A big thanks to everyone who has watched my previous videos, uh, liked and subscribed. Um, I thank you very much for all of your delightful comments. This is an amazing community that I'm happy I have decided to join. Um, and I'll see you in the next one in Making Mita Part 2.